I am six months over. Woo! Sorry, guys, I just woke up. But, woo! Good morning, good morning to you. Guys, it's been a morning. Been a morning. Let's, let's set up and we'll talk, okay? Good morning, my darlings. Good morning and happy day, everybody. Good morning, my darlings. Good morning. How are we doing today? How are we doing? I am doing good. I'm good. Everything's out of my control. It's pouring down rain. Pouring down rain. Um, and it is my six month milestone of me being sober. So excuse me. If you don't know what that means and you're new here, my name is Dante James and I am vlogging my first year of sobriety. I became sober on March 1st of 2021 from alcohol. I don't partake in spirits anymore. The only ones I partake in are the ones that live in my house. Okay. I am a non-drinker and today I am celebrating my six months of sobriety. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. Yeah. 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 So I'm vlogging my first year of sobriety, guys, every single day for a whole entire year. If you're that's something you're interested in, seeing my sober journey, hit that subscribe button, like this video, jump on the sober train with me, I'll click your ticket, and welcome. If that's something you're not interested in and seeing my journey, then uh, I'll see you another time. I'm still going to be vlogging, and I'm still going to be uploading it. Guys, it is pouring down rain here. Pouring down rain, I it took me forever. It is 10 after 11, I'm not ready yet. That's why I just started vlogging. I'm not ready yet. I don't know if I'm going to get ready this early, so I wanted to start the vlog because as I told you guys yesterday, I'm having some girlfriends over tonight to craft and to hang out and eat and celebrate my six months of sobriety, but it is pouring down rain. Pouring down rain, I have to straighten up and clean a little bit and um, do all that, but it is pouring down rain, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get ready this early. I might just straighten my hair quick, so I do have to run out for a couple things, and I'll get ready later. Um, but that's basically the plan for today, guys. I just got done fighting with my laptop because it is raining so hard. The TV was out, the internet was out, I had to use my hotspot on my phone to make my thumbnail. So that's what I am doing currently. I am still drinking coffee. Where is my coffee? I need to find it. Found it. <laughs> So I was talking to my best friend Angie today. I'm messaging Trish. She just called me because I told her to call me to talk about tonight. Um, I just got done with my thumbnail and I was like, you know, I just got done setting up my video for three o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That's when my videos come out. So if you just wanted to know, but if you subscribe, you won't have to remember that. And Trish just called me. I have to call her about tonight because it is like the, a huge rainstorm. It's still raining, but like the a big part of it just came through and I'm hoping it dies down by later because I don't want anyone nervous to drive in the rain later so I'm hoping everything works out but I wanted to talk to Trish about all that. Trish, Sam, Angela, and Angelina are coming over tonight. My four girlfriends, so excited to celebrate with them. They have really stuck with me through my sobriety journey and I love them to death, so I wanted to spend it with them. I will be spending, um, oh, JB and I are not sure, my hubby JB, if you don't know him. My husband JB and I are going to be celebrating at some point. I don't know when, um, tonight he has plans, so it's just gonna be me and the girls. And either tomorrow, Friday, or the weekend, we'll celebrate it. Just me and him. So yeah, that's the plan for today, guys. Let me go call Trish back. Oh, there she is. She's texting me. She's like, okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. We're going to go get our day started, okay? I'm so excited. I am six months sober. Mother. Okay, y'all. So I basically am canceling tonight with the gals because it is coming down like i just got home from being out no makeup no hair i was like what's the point but it is like and this isn't even the worst of it like that's what i have to say too is like it like gets really really bad and then it gets like like right now it's really steady but there are times when it gets like really really bad oh, excuse me we're rescheduling i think i just basically said if you're because Two of the girls live near me, and two of my friends live up in town. So, I said to them, if you are comfortable driving in this, because it's not supposed to let up. It's not supposed to stop until 2 a.m. And it is only 2 o'clock now. So, we have 12 more hours of this, right? 12 more hours of this. 
So I said to them, I said, if you're comfortable coming down or coming over, cool, I'll be home tonight. I'm not doing my hair. I'm not doing my makeup. I already have on my linen pants. That's what's going on with that. So I said, if you're comfortable coming over, I will be here. If not, I completely understand. You don't have to. You know, I don't want anyone. It's not that big. It's not that big of a deal. I'm celebrating my six months with my family this weekend. If we reschedule for Saturday, we will do Saturday. That's perfectly cool, too. It doesn't matter to me. It's really not that big. I am proud of myself. Um, didn't know it was going to be like this. So that's basically where we're at. You know what I mean? Like, even, like, when I was leaving the post office, they have a road blocked because they were just, like, not... It, it's just bad. It's just... it's bad out so i wouldn't see anybody driving it not worth it not worth it like my one friend says she's like, i'm scared to leave my house i was like well then we're good we're good she's like i'll brave it if everyone else is and i'm like no let's just not do it it's perfectly understandable because when i was out in it i couldn't wait to get home jb's on his way home then my friend trish is bringing her dog to the vet and she said she passed three accidents like it's just it's not worth it it's not that big it's not that deep it's really not so, I did go and get stuff, which is perfectly fine. No nothing will go to waste, so I'm not worried about that. Um, I just got vegetables to make, like, a veggie tray, which I could freeze most of them. And you guys know already when I make my pasta sauce, I use veggies in it. So, I'll use those and just saute, saute them up. Because even when uh, my friends Danielle and Bree were over... On Friday, I had a veggie tray, and we didn't eat all of them. So I had leftover broccoli, leftover cauliflower, leftover celery, leftover carrots. And I froze them because I'll use them in my sauce. So nothing's going to wait. I bought a little meat and cheese tray, but that's fine. Who doesn't love meat and cheese? I love meat and cheese, so definitely you got to eat tonight. And we're just going to hunker down. Ida is here. This is Ida, right? I don't even know what the hell this thing's name is. I have no idea. So that's what's going on, guys. I don't know, like that TV, our internet's not working because it's just bad. It is just bad out. So I'm in my comfies already, not comfies. I'm in like my, my casual clothes. And I'm just, I had to wear my com boob, com, com, com boob, com boob boots out because it is just bad. And plus I couldn't find my sneakers. I don't know what JB did with all my sneakers because he wears them sometimes because we're both the same size. So I don't know what he did with all of them, but I don't know where they are. So JB and I will have some fun tonight. So we'll just see what happens. Cruella came out on Disney Plus. So maybe we could watch that. That was my backup plan. Or we'll watch a movie. I don't know something funny hopefully but we already have food so we don't need to worry about that jb made pizza last night and i have leftovers from dinner last night with aunt gina so no worries about that yeah he, actually jb's just pulling up now so let me go see what his story is but i'm actually loving a makeup free day i haven't had one of those in a long time i just wish my hair wasn't so like it's like arlene warno's like you know like when she's like you know, did you ever see that movie Monster when she's like that? She's like, <sighs> that movie's crazy. That movie's crazy. JB won't watch that movie. He won't. Um, all right, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go see what his story is. I'll, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit when I figure out what the hell is going on. Remember before when I said I was enjoying a makeup-free day? I lied. I wasn't. I had to put on a little bit of makeup just to... Feel some normalcy. You know, I'm so used to doing my hair and makeup first thing in the morning. And I just need it on. I really, really do. Just to feel some normalcy, y'all. I just needed to put it on just to feel pretty. I feel pretty. Oh, so shitty. Oh, so pretty and shitty and gay. And what a pity that Hurricane Ida is ruining today. I should be a singer. I really, really should be a singer, y'all. Is it Ida? Did we did we clear that up yet? Is it Ida? I have to find JB and ask him. Y'all, I don't know if you could hear me because the rain is really coming down, but that is JB's empty pond. Look how much it's filled up. Oh my God, and, and look at it. Oh my God. It's coming down. Jesus. That was empty. That was empty, guys. Holy cow. Portions of our viewing area 
That's where Snyder County is, and that's where we've had those four and a half inches of rain, and it's still coming down. So, real quick, I just want to show you additional rainfall on top of what we've already gotten. We could be looking at a couple more inches of rain over eastern Pennsylvania, and obviously less than that over central PA. So, Julie, what do you think, JB? It's a gully washer. We're just hunkering down for Ida. Is it Ida? Yeah. So guys, we're getting dinner ready. And we're gonna watch, I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. JB's never seen it before. So JB, what are we having? Made a, another homemade pizza last night with homemade pizza dough. And I'm gonna, I'm just heating up in the leftovers other than the oven. And we're going to split my leftovers from last night, from dinner last night, the spaghetti, the steak, and the vegetables. So that's what we're doing. We're going to have a little smorgasbord. A little smorgasbord of things. It could be worse if you can be having... Biscuits and mustard. <laughs> what is that from? Sling Blade. Biscuits and mustard. That's a movie we should... I haven't seen that in quite a while. I don't think you, you've ever seen it. No, I've never seen Switchblade before. Sling Blade. <laughs> there you go. No, I've never seen it before. And we're watching I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry because we would watch something on Netflix or Hulu, but our internet keeps going out. So, we picked a DVD and JB's never seen it before. I can't believe you've never seen this movie before. I, mean, I don't think it's one of his most popular ones, but it's pre it's pretty funny. A little, it's an Adam Sandler movie. Do you want to try those Funyun chips? Do you want to show everybody? I got these at the store today, guys. I want to try them. Wavy... Funyuns. Oh, is it Funyuns? Funyuns. That makes sense. Sorry, no, I'm being serious. I, I saw the Y and I was like, wait a minute. I love those Funyuns. Those Funyuns. Yeah, they don't, because Funyuns have a... Well, they're like onion rings. Yeah. These have Funyuns, but potato chips. They're good. I actually really like them. I haven't tried. They have one now. So we did the Doritos on the chips. We did the Funyuns on the chips. They have one with Cheetos dust on the chips. Mm. Yeah. So let's try those. I think they're really good. All right. We're going to go get dinner ready. we we'll watch a movie. Ida. Ida. Before you go anywhere, you get to answer a question. Oh. Amy from Veggie Pals wants to know how your outdoor project is going. How's your patio going? Oh, uh, it's, um, well, it's a little bit of a delay, but, uh... <laughs> He's not working on it today, Amy. Uh, yeah, it's getting there. Um, I have more work to do. I, um, last thing I did was, I was digging out some of the pond and, uh, put some of the, uh, the dirt and stone to fill in the, the spaces of the, the stones I had laid for the patio. So, yeah, more to do, um... There you go, Amy. Yeah, I've been meaning because um, she asked that a while ago, and I've been meaning to get you in a video so I could ask you. Because Amy wanted to know. He's definitely not working on it today, Amy. <laughs> I mean, the only thing he's doing today is filling his pond. So, <laughs> which is, I, I have showed them it. I took a video of it. Which the pond is pretty large and in charge. These are our little bowls. Our veggie pasta steak bowls. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Oh, I just can't hide it. Do it. Do what? Do the face you were just doing. You, he I always have, does that. I have no idea. He's just going, hey. Okay. All right, so guys, we just watched and now pronounce you Chuck and Larry. What would you think, Jimmy? Yeah, it was good. Okay, so now, guys, <laughs> do I get them, JB? Sure. We're going to try these things that I got down at the beach. So, remember when I got these sour smog balls? 
They are crunchy candy with a sour, chewy center. They're toxic waste. And I actually remember Veggie Pals. I was at Abby and Amy. They did something like this. Or was it Amelia? It was one of you. Two of you. Or was it all three of you? Did something that had to do with toxic waste. I remember that. Go follow Veggie Pals, guys. Their link will be down in my description. And so I grabbed these because I thought they would be fun. And JB and I are going to try them. What do you think? Yeah. Okay, so there's a whole story on the back. JB read it. I don't know. There's a whole story on the back. And then there's lime, cherry, strawberry, lemon, blue raspberry, and grape. So there's six flavors. So let's see. And they're in a pretty, like, tight package. All right, so two purple ones came out first. So I'm guessing that's grape. Does not look like the picture, but there's grape. Let's try it. One, two, three. Oh, they're hard. It's not like not like a sour warhead or anything. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's not. A, yeah, those warheads. Remember that? No, it's not that bad. All right, we'll try a couple more. If we don't, if they don't get sour, we'll try a blue one. Cause I thought it was gonna be like, you know, okay. Oh, GB. I was expecting more sour. I mean, it's like tangy. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I don't like that part. I don't know. Well, these are going to be more fun. Here, should we try the lime or the or the lemon ones? That'll be the last one. I thought these were going to be way more fun. Lemon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, ugh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Ugh. That one was sour. Holy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, that was terrible. It tasted still in my mouth. Alright, alright. Let's, <laughs> let's try a lime one. No, I'm try nah. that, that, <laughs> that, that. Try a lime one. Of course, the lime ones have to be down at the very bottom. Lime. I didn't buy it yet, but the, the initial flavor is gross. Yeah, out of all of them, the lemon was the most tart. Yeah, that, that one's probably second. Mm -hmm. Blue raspberry third and the grape fourth. They're all right. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be a little fatter than that. A little bit more funner. A little bit more funner, honey. So guys, there you go. They're okay. They're not like anything fun or, you know. They're not that fun, you know. So it's just like whatever. So guys, you just watch that. Now what are we gonna do, Jimmy? We're just watching the rain. Mm -hmm. It's insane. It's, yeah, it really is. I, the wind really picked up. I'm hoping none of the trees come down. Mm -hmm. Knock so, on wood. Oh. That would not be good. Well, no, because it's like it's, the wind really did pick up, but it's still raining, too. Like, everything's soaked. It's crazy. Pray for us, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say bye, GB. See you guys later. Bye. It is the end of the night. I'm just trying to lint myself off y'all so for my six month milestone today didn't really go as planned and that's okay you know what i mean that's okay my friends are safe everyone i know and love is safe hopefully everybody is safe my friend trish had to be evacuated from her house and it's just crazy it's just crazy thank goodness we live in the mountains because it could be a lot worse you know there's people down south that are you know, still cleaning up from Hurricane Ida. And it, I'm, I'm just thankful for that. I'm happy that my family and my friends and all my loved ones are safe and I hope everybody is safe. But it was pretty crazy today. It was pretty nuts. It really rained and it's still going. It's still raining out. I don't think as hard, but it's still raining out. So we'll see how tomorrow goes, guys. Today didn't go as planned, but I'm happy with how it turned out jb and i just relaxed we watched movies we ate we laughed we tried those those toxic waste things i just threw them in the garbage they made our stomach like hurt and feel weird actually my my stomach doesn't hurt anymore but they just made it like feel weird my belly and i just i didn't like them i threw them away and we just hung out jeep see i just linted i just linted myself and there's something on my sweater this sweater's filled with dog hair and stuff. It's just, it's my house, it's my house sweater. It's my house coat. My friends and I rescheduled. I'm, I'm gonna be celebrating with my family. So 
I'm excited about that. Today didn't go as planned, but I'm just, like I said, not to repeat myself 8 million times, I'm just happy everyone is safe. That's all that matters to me. And I'm just, I'm thankful for the past six months, guys. I talked a lot about it last night, so I'm not going to keep you this too long. I'm just very thankful for the past six months and um, proud of myself in my sobriety and proud of myself that I don't have triggers to alcohol anymore. That's a major plus, and I, I've learned a lot over this past month. When I am in a stressful situation or anything like that, my first thought anymore is an alcohol, so that's a major, major improvement from the past couple months, you know? I don't think about it at all. I'm pretty okay, like, I'm, I'm good. We're gonna skip a question tonight only because JB answered the question for Veggie Pals. Again, go follow my Veggie Pals. Their link will be down below. I love my Veggie Pals. Yeah. That's really, that's really it, guys. I don't want to keep you, and I know I always say this, but I don't want to keep you too long. Um, you guys saw our day. We were basically home all day, and even when I was out, it was pretty scary. So, and they actually put um, an emergency out or something that if you didn't have to be on the roads, don't be. So, like I said, I hope, I mean, there was a lot of crashes today. There was a lot of stuff like that. So I'm just hoping that everybody's okay. I really, really am. Because I noticed that. Like, I don't like... I knew I said I was going to keep you as long. But let me just touch on this. I don't understand daredevils that like to, like, drive recklessly or stuff like that in weather like this. I don't understand it. Like, the like it was it last year or the year before... I was driving home and it was snowing, like really snowing, like it was sticking to the ground so fast. And this guy in a Subaru just flew past me. There was not not even a turning lane, nothing. We were in a two lane road. He flew. He went in the other lane and flew past me. And I just don't understand people like that. I guess it's an adrenaline rush. I I don't get it. I just don't get it. But I'm hoping that there wasn't any like anyone hurt in those accidents today and i'm hoping it was no one driving like an idiot you know i'm hoping that i don't hope it was anything i just hope everybody's like, okay let me just say that but today was a fabulous day guys um i still got to talk to my friends and you know i got so many lovely messages and so many lovely comments and so many lovely just well wishes and i'm just i'm just so thankful for all the love and support it's definitely felt Definitely felt, and I'm very lucky. So, but I don't want to keep you too much longer. Um, again, thank you guys for being here and for watching my journey. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Again, we were hunkering down for another, another um, end tail of a hurricane. So that's what we were doing last weekend. It was, or last week it was Henry. This weekend it is Ida. So there we go. And again, thank you to you guys for being here and for watching. I um, I really appreciate it, and thank you for being on this journey with me. And thank you for being my friends. Thank you for watching on your phones and your homes or on your tablets. And I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, night, whenever you watch this. And happy six months to me. And thank you for being on this journey with me. Anybody that's been here since the beginning that joined in the middle or is here right now. Thank you for being here. I hope you follow along and become my friend. And watch my journey. Watch JB's journey. Watch just what's going on. I don't know. Um, six more months to go, guys. So, I will see you tomorrow. And until the next one, you. Bye-bye. <laughs>